After being trapped on the Jolly Lanham, obtaining the pirate's power, and joining forces with Captain Gaff, Kutaro nearly cornered Pig and Sheep. The epic chase continues as Kutaro dives to the bottom of the sea. Down in the depths lived a plethora of mind-numbingly mystical creatures who happened to like their freedom. So, as you might imagine, they and the god of the sea didn't exactly crack open the champagne when the Moon Bear King took over. Well, the tyrant knew a pack of unruly sea monsters could be trouble, so he ordered Generals Pig and Sheep to pollute the moonshine sea with magic oil. It transformed the sea god's servants into dastardly, greedy creatures that devoured everything in their path. As our brave little heroes dove deeper, they found themselves in a world of darkness where the water ran black and sunlight was a distant memory. What is up with this ocean? I'd say I've never seen anything so gross, if I could actually see. In time, the two arrived at an ancient and secret palace at the bottom of the sea. Within it dwelled a gargantuan god whose strength had been all but sapped by the tyrant's arm. <laughs> Where are we? Are you okay? Seriously, what is up? Boat is up, boat is up in the underwater palace.
poor delicious subjects. Uh, uh, I fear there is no hope. He seems pretty depressed, huh? Hey, squid dudes! Are you gonna take us to where the Kraken is? You are? Well, of course you are! Your lives are at stake! Let's book it, Kataro! My Toro. Oh, and don't forget the Anago and Hotate and all the other edible white fishes and other fishes. He sure knows his sushi menu. That's my kind of god. I think the squid on point is showing us the way. Atta boy, give that squid a cookie. I would give anything for one mouth-watering meal. I can't get my mind off all that delicious sushi. Or maybe some calamari. Kutaro was on snack. Uh, excuse me, on track to finding the Kraken and stealing back the God of the Sea's tribe. It was a worthy cause. Picarina could picture the clam baits already. Hey, we're not in this for the seafood. We're in it for some big fat moonstone sharks. Oh, I mean, we're in it because it's like the right thing to do, yeah? Nice try, darling. The God of the Sea's squid carried Kutaro even deeper into the Kraken's briny lair. They had plenty to contend with between a smack of freewheeling jellyfish, treacherous spikes in the terrain, and rocks sharp enough to shave them. As he went deeper into the trench, Kutaro noticed the marine life was getting just a little bit more freaky. Just then, a ferocious fish with a built-in headlight and a nasty set of gnashers decided to crash Kutaro's cruise. It's an angler fish! Ooh, I bet it would make a tasty stew. They say the liver is... Kutaro was in hot water of his own. One after another, he was beset by murderous deep-sea menaces. A crab! Oh, I love crab! Oh, but I love everything! This is tearing me apart! I want crab! I want anglerfish! Why can't I have the whole menu? The menu was tearing Kutaro apart too, but he fought on, hoping to reach the Kraken soon. The jellyfish, as it turned out, were on the good guy's side. Sure, they didn't know Kung Fu, but they were masters at just sort of floating there, which made them perfect stepping stones for Kutaro. Thanks, jellyfish! I salute you!
At long last, Kutaro reached the ocean's darkest depths. With sunlight out of the picture and oily goop mucking up the water, the whole place looked like a sloppy excuse for nightfall. That looks like a shark. Is it wax? Shark burst out of the rocks. It was coming right for them. I thought we were fixed, Chow. What a nice shark. Can't get us through all those moon sparkles. The battered remains of a sunken ship lay on the ocean floor. A squadron of squid squiggled solemnly nearby, as if just then, a giant tentacled menace appeared. It was a squiddle intimidating. Squiddle? Swig! That was incredible! Wasn't it? Jellyfish, jellyfish, loosened and free. How graceful, how fair, they're adrift in the sea. Why swish a fin? The fish have it worse. Why cling to rocks? That's a barnacle's curse. Food comes to you, you spawn as you please. The poison within you makes defense a breeze. Oh, what I give to do nothing so well, to float with a plomb and at wafting excel. Jellyfish, jellyfish, lord of the prime. Oh, how I wish that your life were mine. Yeah, because wouldn't it be great to not have a spine?
to get back. Guess we'll have to yank it free. Oh, oh, wow. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. What's this? Pig and Sheep's goopy oil had done a number on the legendary Kraken, transforming him into a demonic butcher who chopped up the local marine life, gutted up their corpses, and then devoured their flesh raw. Oh, that's horrible. Completely immoral, I say. Hey, Rachai! What will it be, folks? Oh, oh, I'll have tuna. Extra fat. Tuna, eh? I recommend octopus. No, you may not. I am placing the order here, Buster, and I want tuna. Don't tell me what to eat. The customer is always right. I demand service. Then go eat a hamburger, you finish time. Ordering sushi is a choreographed ritual, and you clearly can't dance. Now, get out. Katara, you're doing it wrong! 
and seaweed green and every starfish orange. What rhymes with orange? Tried it rhymes with orange. It rhymes with everything. It rhymes with everything. Every creature stands in all before the sea Scissor-wielding hero, thanks to you, the moonshine sea has regained its former splendor. You have my deepest gratitude. Thanks to you, thanks to you, the sea is back to Shut up, Kutaro! I would like to present you with a party gift. I have filled Calibus with a new power. One, I am certain, will make your journey easier. The god of the sea placed some of the Triton's power in Calibris because he believed Kutaro could hew out a better future. But would he part the stormy seas of destiny or invite new storms of his own? <laughs> 